ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव काइनेटिक इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ टेम्परेचर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी बिकॉज वी ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ मोमेंटम वी ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ मीन स्क्वायर वेलोसिटी और रूट मीन स्क्वायर वेलोसिटी नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वेलोसिटी ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी एज वी नाउ दैट द रूट मीन स्क्वायर वेलोसिटी वी आर एम एस इज इक्वल टू थ्री पी और Uh, instead of this V R M S, I can write it as like this: mean square, and then we have square root, which is equal to, and here here we have our square root also. Three P over rho. We can say that V square, mean square velocity is equal to three P over rho. Or from this, I can calculate the value of pressure, which is P is equal to. One over three rho into v square. This is the velocity, mean square velocity. Now we know that we have a relation from general gauge equation that P V is equal to. This is the volume. Okay, I use a capital V here. P V is equal to n k into t. Now from this we can calculate the value of pressure, which is n k. T over V. This capital V is for the volume, and this small V is for the velocity. So it means that we have pressure, which is given here. If I call it equation number one, and this is equation number two, using equation two and one. We have. If I put the value of pressure here, then we have. This uh, if I put the value of pressure, which is this no sorry this is equation number one. If I put the value of pressure here, we get n k t over v is equal to one over three rho into v square. Now if I bring this. Volume to this side, we have n k t, which is equal to one over three rho v into v square. Now this is capital V, which is volume, and this is the small v, which is velocity. Now we know that density is equal to total mass divided by total volume. Okay. Now total mass from this we get total R. Uh, we can say that it is total mass divided by total volume. I call it V. So from this we get total mass is equal to rho times V. And we also know that total mass is equal to total number of particles or molecules times mass of each molecule. So if I compare both these equations, then we have total mass n m, which is equal to rho into v. This is equation number. This is equation number three, and this is equation number four. Now using equation four and three, we have. If I put equation number this four, rho v is equal to n m here. We get n k t is equal to one over three. Instead of this rho v, I put n m into v square. Now n cancel with n, so we left with k t is equal to one over three v square, and we have mass here also. Yes, our k t is equal to one over three. I can bring this m inside this. Mean value because m is constant, so I can keep it outside or inside. It doesn't matter. M v square. Uh, if I divide this right and multiply by two, we have two over three here, and we have one over two m v square here because this two will again again cancel with this two, so we left with this equation again. Now.
this is the expression for the temperature from this I can write T is equal to 2 over 3k into 1 over 2 mv square this is equation number I call it uh, 5 but we know that kinetic energy kinetic energy is equal to 1 over 2 mv square so this equation 5 can also be written as temperature this is the temperature okay which is equal to 2 over 3k where k is the Boltzmann constant into kinetic energy average a mean kinetic energy now we have this equation 5 and 6 now From equation 6, we see that this absolute temperature is directly proportional to the average kinetic energy. I can say that this temperature is directly proportional to average kinetic energy. So we can say that temperature is directly proportional to 1 over 2 mv square. Now 1 over 2 and m, they are constant. So it means that T is directly proportional to mean square velocity. So the absolute temperature of a gas is directly proportional to the square of the average velocity of a single molecule. Or from this equation we can also write the value of kinetic energy. Average kinetic energy which is equal to from this one. Okay, average kinetic energy is equal to 3 over 2 kT this is the most important relation which we will deal again and again in the next of next videos now here we see that the kinetic energy which is proportional to a temperature the more we increase the temperature of the system the more is the kinetic energy of the molecule so this is all about kinetic theory of ideal gases in the next video we will move to another topic thank you